In the years to come, people will be shocked to learn that the tech and telecom bubble of the 1990s laid the groundwork for all of these technologies. Those were the seeds they have been waiting patiently to germinate, and now the time has come for them to bloom. They're all set for the big show. The history of innovation, including the internet and other similar technologies, is not the result of a single or even two seeds. The total number of platforms is five, and 14 distinct technologies are utilized. Everything is in its final stages of development, and they are all prepared to take off, with annual growth rates ranging from 20% to 50% depending on the technology. The International Monetary Fund predicts that a dramatic technology shift will boost productivity, stimulate global economic growth, and raise incomes across the board. The International Monetary Fund predicts that many high-income countries' occupations would change substantially as a result of AI's incorporation, thus these countries are preparing for the storm. Although certain jobs may see an uptick in productivity, others could be in for some serious trouble as AI apps try to take over human jobs, which could have an effect on pay and demand for workers. Renowned investor Kathy Wood sees current chaos as a once-in-a-lifetime chance to make strategic investments. The five innovation platforms that she has identified through her firm, ARK Invest, are coming together to propel rapid expansion on a global scale. She projects that by 2030, the market value of these platforms will have exploded from $13 trillion in 2024 to more than $200 trillion, providing early investors with enormous potential returns. Wood predicts that cryptocurrency prices would skyrocket by 2030, with Bitcoin hitting $1.5 million and Ethereum approaching $200,000, highlighting the bullish outlook for these assets. History of innovation, including the transistor, the internet, and so on, is not the product of a single or even a few seeds. The total number of platforms is five and 14 distinct technologies are utilized. The field of multiomic sequencing is so relevant to robotics, energy storage, AI, blockchain, and the medical sciences. Everything is in its final stages of development and they are all prepared to take off, with annual growth rates ranging from 20% to 50% depending on the technology. Convergence occurs because AI is a major enabler in this area. A tremendous rate of sustained expansion or exponential growth is the result of each of these technologies. However, consider the coming together of these five main platforms and the technologies they support. All of these S-curves are feeding off of one other, which, in our opinion, will lead to extremely exponential growth. Our best guess is that this will lead to tremendous productivity improvements and new avenues for wealth generation as the already robust growth rates will quicken. Machine learning plays a significant role in this. All the other technologies are actually being propelled forward by it. Knowledge workers have the most significant boost in output. We anticipate a minimum of a fourfold growth and perhaps more during the next six to seven years. Additionally, the $13 trillion in salary and compensation is attributed to knowledge workers. Consider that, then productivity. You can accomplish four times as much as you could even a few years ago. With coders, we're already witnessing this. Coders' productivity has increased by 50% to 100% thus far, and it's only the beginning. Although technological advancements often lead to deflation, this deflation is beneficial they go through learning curves, which we can track by looking at costs, seeing costs go down, and then passing those savings on to you in the form of prices. If deflation is beneficial, then it will likely lead to a surge in unit growth. Therefore, we may expect tremendous expansion from all five of those platforms. Contrarily, creative devastation will follow. Now tell me about that. For many investors, the safety of huge, broadly-based indices like the MSCI World, SP500, or NASDAQ has long been a source of security. However, this trend is starting to change, and it's fascinating to watch. However, we anticipate significant economic and social upheaval as a result. Because of this, you can expect it to be rather disorganized. The whole transportation industry is poised for revolution as we transition to autonomous vehicles, and the financial services industry is also on the brink of upheaval as we embrace blockchain technology, which is essentially the Internet's monetary system. It is the part of the Internet that was neglected by developers in the early 1990s. Thus, this is it. Finally, it's here, and it's going to shake up the financial services industry. As the Cree, the U.S. Regional Bank Index took a nosedive last year due to the failure of Silicon Valley Bank and others. It served as a stark warning to the financial world about Bitcoin. There was a 40% gain in Bitcoin. Wait a second, what was the response of many individuals who flat out refused to consider Bitcoin? Nothing can pique the interest of investors who were previously pessimistic like price action in a poor market.
especially excellent price action in a bad market. For the first time, they began to view Bitcoin as a risk-off asset, and that is what transpired. They had solely considered it a risk-on asset highly unpredictable, performing admirably during bull markets. That signal, though, was deafening. I believe that more and more people were thinking about what you said, Ed, when the SEC signaled approval for the ETFs, including our spot ETF ARKB. A new asset class here. Even if you don't like it on a personal level, as an advisor, you have an obligation to express your opinion and explain to your clients why you're not recommending it. Due to diversification and low correlation to other assets, the return per unit of risk increases when an allocation is made to one of these new asset classes in an existing portfolio. This is based on the history of these classes. As a result, many more financial advisors and investors are giving it their full attention. And I tell most people, not just investors, that you need to be familiar with this type of study for the sake of your life, not just your money. We predict that in the next five to 10 years, the world will undergo a transformation so profound that it will be hard for you to recognize it, all due to the simultaneous evolution of these five platforms. So to even begin to grasp this, one must travel back to the early 1900s if one wishes to steer their offspring or grandkids onto the correct side of change. There was the internal combustion engine, electricity, and the telephone. Trust me, this is on a whole other level.